God is in his holy place. God unites those who dwell in his house. He himself gives might and strength to his people. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Brothers and sisters, as we come to celebrate these mysteries, we first call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy. Bestow in abundance your mercy upon us and grant that with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Let my eyes stream with tears day and night without rest over the great destruction which overwhelms the virgin daughter of my people, over her incurable wound. If I walk out into the field, look, those slain by the sword. If I enter the city, look, those consumed by hunger. Even the prophet and the priest forage in a land they know not. Have you cast Judah off completely? Is Zion loathsome to you? Why have you struck us a blow that cannot be healed? We wait for peace to no avail, for a time of healing, but terror comes instead. We recognize, O Lord, our wickedness, the guilt of our fathers, that we have sinned against you. For your namesake, spurn us not, disgrace not the throne of your glory. Remember your covenant with us, and break it not. Among the nation's idols, is there any that gives rain? Or can the mere heavens send showers? Is it not you alone, O Lord, our God, to whom we look? You alone have done all these things. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. Remember not against us the inequities of the past. May your compassion quickly come to us, for we are brought very low. For the glory glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. Help us, O God, our Savior, because of the glory of your name. Deliver us and pardon our sins for your name's sake. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. Let the prisoner's sign come before you. With your great power, free those doomed to death. Then we, your people, and the sheep of your pasture, will give thanks to you forever. Through all generations, we will declare your praise. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The seed is the word of God. Christ is the sower. All who come to him will live forever. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Lord, Jesus dismissed the crowds and went into the house. His disciples approached him and said, Explain to us the parable of the weeds in the field. He said in reply, He who sows good seed is the son of man. The field is the world, the good seed, the children of the kingdom. The weeds are the children of the evil one. And the enemy who sows them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the age, and the harvesters are angels. Just as weeds are collected and burned up with fire, so will it be at the end of the age. The Son of Man will send his angels, and they will collect out of his kingdom 
all who cause others to sin, and all evil evildoers. They will throw them into the fiery furnace, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Then the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their Father. Whoever has ears ought to hear. The Gospel of the Lord. This morning our Gospel is a little bit of darkness and gloom, those being thrown into the fiery furnace. So what should we make of all this? Maybe here's where our attention should be. A lot of the Gospels talk about what God will do at the end. Part of the message to us right now is to have patience. What our Lord has telling us in this world, there are bad weeds. It's not how it should be. It is a fallen world. And if we don't understand that, just turn on the news any night of the week and we can see those weeds, right? Our Lord's message is, he's still in control. He still has his plan, but it's at his time. For us, knowing that all those things are true, we need to take a step back. Have that patience and focus on those things we can control. So this week, if some of those weeds are really nagging at you, really kind of driving you a bit crazy, take time with this gospel. Remember that our Lord is here. He has a plan. It's going to be at his time. All he asks us to do is be patient in the things that we can control. Let us stand and offer our petitions. We pray for Pope Francis and all our bishops. We pray to the Lord. Lord, We pray for all our government officials. We pray to the Lord. Lord, We pray for an increase in vocations to the priesthood and consecrated life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, We pray for all the sick, the infirmed, and their caregivers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we pray for all the faithful departed. We pray to the Lord. Lord, God, our Heavenly Father, we offer you these petitions, and we ask you to answer these according to your will through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, and through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit, the vine, and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Except the Lord, we pray the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, to your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Lord for whom you made all things, whom you set as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfill your will and gain it for you, a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like to do form, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took the bread and given thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, in eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more given thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection. Until you become my grave. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. And with thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one of the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Daniel our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor are yours, Forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. 
Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us off each other a sign of peace. Flame of God. him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I you should enter into my word, but all I say the Lord and my Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they shall see God. At this time, we invite you to join in a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already here and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We have consumed the Lord's divine sacrament the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift, which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling, may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. And Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Amen. The prayer of St. Michael. Since my Lord, our angel, the judge of the battle, be our protection against the weakness and snares of the devil. For God, we do and we humbly pray, and do thou, the Prince of the Heavenly Ghost, by the power of God, as it is now to see, in all the evil spirits, throughout the world, seeking the good of souls.